Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to my Fallout 4 Mod Spotlight series, where today we are having a look at the Chiapa Rhino mod, which is being made by user Whiskey River 2. And what this glorious little piece of fork looks to add into the game is the real-world Chiapa Rhino Revolver, which is a pretty cool gun designed, I believe, about 10 years ago if memory serves, and though it's a bit more modern than I typically tend to personally prefer for the Fallout franchise, I think it looks sufficiently different enough that it kind of actually does fit in with the world. So let's look at what we do get here in the Pip-Boy. And as you can see, we have the Chiapa Rhino Pistol, which is pretty nicely made with some good texturing and modeling. A lot of nice little details here for the gun. A very good looking indeed. And as you can see over on the right hand side, we do have a decent little selection of different modification categories, though some of them are a bit lacking at the moment moment, especially the sights category, as right now we only do have iron sights. Now that is temporary, the mod maker does state on the mod page that they're already looking into adding in additional sights and things like perhaps a laser or light uh, attachment for the gun. So more things are coming soon, which I can't wait for, but for the time being, in its standard form, this is a pretty early to early mid game gun not doing a whole lot of damage but still being pretty useful at uh, 40 damage with a 10 millimeter round with a firing rate of 6 range of 119 accuracy of 66 and a weight of 2.6 now with the different modifications you can up the firing rate by changing it from a single action receiver to a double action which will improve the speed up to 22 and as for damage, the highest I was able to get this thing to go was up to 69. That's why I say it is really an early to early mid game gun. You're never going to do a whole lot of damage with this thing unless some other different modifications are added. But considering how you get your hands on it, I'd say it's pretty fitting as this is truly an early game gun. It's the one actual sort of copy in the world you're guaranteed to find is in the Museum of Freedom. So you're gonna find this thing within like the first half hour of the game. So uh, yeah, I'd say pretty useful for that sort of period of time. Now it is also added into the level loot list, so you will find it in other places, but like I said, one guaranteed version of it in the Museum of Freedom with others potentially to come according to the mod page. Now let's go look at what modifications we do have on this thing and head over here to the workbench where if we started the receiver category you can see we have all the pretty standard sort of receivers, hair trigger, calibrated, etc. with either a uh, single action variant or a DA variant for double action, which is increasing that speed. Now after that in barrels, we have a pretty good list here from standard to snubby, a long light barrel, a long light ported, long ported and long light ported barrel and of course a light ported barrel so quite a few options in here depending on what you're wanting to go for and then in the grip category we have three either the standard the comfort or sharpshooter and then in iron sights we got nothing for now but like i said more are to come soon and in here it's probably going to be the color of the optic on the iron sight from what uh or from how the mod page reads and then in the standard sights category, uh, right now, nothing, but this is most likely where the, uh, like, reflex scopes, etc. will be added once those do come in. Which, again, will be quite nice to have. And finally, we have the conversion of either no conversion, leaving it as 10mm, or you can switch it up to a 38 caliber to do uh, a little bit less damage, but it's... It's lighter, and if you have an excess of 38 rounds, I mean, why not? Just to waste them all away. And so that is it for the various modifications. Let's go take a look at this thing firing, and at the standard single-action version, it's, uh, it's pretty slow, so let's take some shots. And there we are. That is as fast as I can shoot with this thing. Good smooth reload animation there, and all in all, a good usable gun. Now, if we switch it up over to the double action version here, with my ported Chiapa Rhino pistol, quite a lot faster. 
there you go. So with the higher damage of, uh, you know, certain ones of the receivers, plus the faster speed, you can put a lot more damage down range with the double action, which is always handy. Now, uh, of course, we also do have a 38 version here, which we can fire. Sounds the same, but just wanted to uh, show you guys this too, just in case you were wondering if it did sound different between the 38 and 10 millimeter. So let us go and test these out on our usual test subjects of Randy and Will. And, well, quite frankly, I'm probably only going to shoot them with this one because uh, the standard version has 40 damage. The 38 version I built has 35. I think we're gonna use the 69 damage one. There we go, the nice ported Chiapa pistol here. And let's go after a lovely Will here. How are you, Will? Fire, 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 fire. I'm missing, he's down, take him out. We finished him. Perfect, it took me all six bullets, but that's also partly due to my incompetence. So let's move up here and take out Randy. How's it going, my friend? Let's, uh, ooh, that's not the greatest of vats. Let's just get in close. Hi, Randy, how are you? And soon, bye-bye. Uh, ooh, one good shot in the head and he's down. Beautiful. <laughs> All right, so yeah, that is the Chiapa Rhino Revolver, a fun little addition into the game. And like I said, even though it's a bit more modern of a gun than I typically personally prefer, I think the design of the gun kind of does fit in with the world. It's a little bit weird and wacky, and that is always fun to have. So if you'd like to check out this mod for yourself, which I would certainly recommend you go and do, you can have a look at the link in the description, as per usual. But that is going to be it for today. I hope you all have enjoyed, and that you do come back for the next. But until that time, thank you for watching, and as always, have a good one!